Hey guys, now she Nelsie here today with a talk time with Nell and this talk time with Nell is going to be a little bit different. Um, when I started doing these videos, you know, a lot of you have come out with different topics that you did want me to speak on and different things like that. And, um, I never thought that it would get to a point where so many of you would send in emails that, you know, spoke about a lot of different things. I guess, you know, some of you do feel comfortable with sharing certain things with me. So, so I guess this video is kind of going to be like, um... I guess an advice kind of segment and this is more so about relationships and things like that. I did see stuff about relationships but I just didn't really know what to you know talk about but we have our first letter here so I did you know really think about if I was going to do a video like this because you know this stuff is kind of personal and I'm not sure how people feel but I did speak with you know the um the writer of the letter and she said that she was perfectly okay with it. I'm still not going to put her name out there even though she said it was okay. We're just gonna call her J. <laughs> so we'll call her J. Letter says, Hi, my name is J. I'm 19 and I'm going through it with my first love. We broke up before because of his cheating and we got back together after he appeared to have changed. He's 23. He has had his heart broken by someone also and he has never had proper closure with her and has not forgiven her for what she did to him. That is why I think he has become so cold hearted and emotionless. I keep thinking about the movie Baby Boy and how he changed at the end. It is fresh and I'm still in love with him and he claims to be in love with me. I just wanted to know if you think it's possible for him to change and if having a conversation with his ex who broke his heart would help. And then later on she had sent something else. She said I also wanted you to I also wanted to add that we are currently on break because I found out he was cheating again. My first message didn't really make that clear. She says thank you. So Already with this particular letter, it's like, oh man, <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is definitely something uh, to talk about. Let me get comfortable here. Number one thing that really stood out to me in this letter was that she said, you know, he has cheated in the past. And she also says that he hasn't gotten over what his ex had done to him. So I kind of, it kind of makes me question, like, in the beginning of the relationship, did you see any signs that, you know, he was still communicating with his ex? How exactly was it? I just feel like there's a lot of stuff that isn't really, you know, it's left out. I feel like there's more to the story. Like, usually you can tell when somebody hasn't gotten over, you know, a past relationship. They may talk about the person consistently. They may still text them. They may still call them occasionally definitely one thing that really is key to seeing how someone feels is listening to their dialect the way that they speak is a you know ex always coming up are they always trying to compare different situations even when they don't mean to it's a lot of different warning signs that can let you know that somebody isn't quite yet over their past relationship now for one um she did say that he has cheated on her in the past so this sounds like this is the second time that he's cheated based on the fact that she's at their own break um, I kind of wonder, was it cheating with the ex before? Is it still the same female? You know, has he been honest with you? Um, you know, what have you given him? What has he given you? Now, one thing that stood out to me was the fact that she said she was 19. At this particular point, I do feel like, you know, she is a little young to be getting into a relationship that is of this magnitude of cheating and all these different things. I'm not one to place judgment because I had a boyfriend at 19, like... I probably wasn't in the best relationship, but at that point in time, I wasn't experiencing things like that. I feel like when you are in, you know, a young age like that, this is a point in time where, you know, you're supposed to be heading off to college, you know, if you do have any type of relationships, this is probably the time where, you know, it makes or break it, like you two go to separate, you know, schools, maybe you move away. A lot of things happen once you get out of high school, because usually when you're with a person in high school, it's like you're kind of forced to see them every day, which is why some relationships last in high school and some don't. So I do feel like you are a bit young to be, you know, encountering a lot of different things like this. The second thing that really, really stands out to me is the fact that, again, back to the cheating. You said that this is the second time that he's cheated on you. So it kind of makes me, you know, me feel like, you know, is it something with a self-esteem level? Because honestly like you said you are young you know you're 19 you have noticed this stuff before in the past this isn't something that you know is a first time occurring i'm not sure how long she said they were together 
I kind of feel like, you know, if someone isn't really respecting you and giving you the respect that you deserve, like you deserve to be respected. You deserve to have somebody loyal, to treat you right, to not make you feel, you know, just want to hurt you and make you feel pain like that. Do you feel as if, you know, you have to stick with him? Again, I don't really know the time in the relationship. I feel like there's a lot of things that's left out. Like, I, me personally, I'm trying not to make it a personal thing, but... I would want to be with somebody who I felt respected me. Like, how exactly do you plan to wait it out to see if he will change if this is the second time that he's disrespected you as far as cheating goes? I feel like it would probably be best to let him figure this out on his own. I don't believe that it's healthy to stay in a relationship with somebody who doesn't respect you. And just by the fact that, you know, you did mention about wanting to have a conversation with the ex, it leads me to believe that she's possibly still in the picture. Is it a situation where maybe you feel like you have to find out what's the attraction between them? What kind of relationship did they have? Are you trying to mend his broken heart? Are you trying to force him to get over it? Like, I feel like there's a lot of bits and pieces that were left out of, you know, this particular situation. And as far as if you feel like having a conversation with her is going to help, I can't really say that I feel like it would because, I mean, if she's a person that he's doing the cheating with, I don't really see how that's going to help. Like, how do you know that she, you know, wants him to be with you? I really don't know who the person is that he's doing the cheating with, but I strongly believe that it's probably the ex. And if she's a person who, if she knows you guys are together, one, she knows that, you know, you are serious because it sounds like you, you said it's your first love and... It just sounds like this is a little too much to be a first love. Like usually when you have a first love, a first crush, you know, things, they tend to get serious. There are breakups, there are different things like that. But this just sounds like this is just really not a really, this just sounds like it's a toxic situation. Like I don't believe that you should be with a person who, you know, continuously cheats on you. I understand maybe the first time things happen, but the second time, like I don't, mm -mm. and as far as getting the conversation, like, what exactly do you want to ask her? What are you trying to get from this? Is this closure for yourself? Do you feel like he wants closure? Because from what I'm hearing, it doesn't really sound like he's ready to move on and he could possibly still want to be with his ex. And I don't really want to say it, but maybe you might be the rebound. Like, it, there's a lot of bits and pieces that I can't really see, but from what you did share, that's what it kind of sounds like to me. So my advice to you would be... Um, it's hard. I don't want to say cut them off completely because like you said, it's your first love. If it's a situation where you could possibly take things a little bit slower and possibly wean yourself off of him and just let him figure out what he needs to be. I'm not saying wait. I feel like you should continue to go on with your life. Do exactly what you should do as far as if you're, you know, if you're in school, if you're working, anything that you're focusing on, I think you should pretty much put your head in that direction and when it comes to him, I feel like if it's meant to be, it will be. He will find a way. Like, if you are worth it, he will find a way to try to mend things. And if he really is over his ex, I feel like he will be the one to determine. Like, one thing about people, you cannot force them to do anything they don't. And if people really want to do something, they will find a way to. So... I feel like in this situation, you have to value your worth, you have to value your happiness, and you have to value your sanity. I don't feel like you should be in a situation where you are, I guess you could say, unsure of if you can trust him. If you're unsure of if you can mend someone's broken heart, especially if you're not even sure why he's cold. Like, it sounds like he doesn't really open up to you because... It sounds a bit like you kind of are unsure as far as, as far as what happened in a relationship, why he's being so cold hearted to you, why he's cheating. Like, there's a lot that's missing from this whole letter. So that's basically my advice to you. I would say to take things slow. If you feel like this is a situation where, you know, you can't walk away, you can't just move on, just slow down a little bit. Like, you know, you, you're young. Again, you are young. I understand it's your first love. We've all been there. But please believe that there are going to be other people on this planet that will love and appreciate you, that won't make you question, you know, your worth, that won't be, you know, unfaithful to you. There are so many more people. And again, you are young. I'll keep saying that. You have your whole life ahead of you. And trust me, you are going to meet a lot of different people. So with that being said, 
focus on you. If you have to take a step back from it and let him figure things out, go for it. And if you decide that you do want to just leave the situation alone, I think that you totally should. This sounds like a bit much to be dealing with at 19 years old. And I honestly feel like you are worth so much more than having to deal with this at such a young age and just not being respected. So I really hope that I didn't offend. I hope that, you know, I was able to shed a little bit of light as far as some advice, what I believe. This is my first time doing this, so let me know exactly, you know, if this has helped you. You can send me another letter. For those of you in the comments, please, I know some of you can be a bit harsh, but if you do want to shed some light in the comments as far as what you think she should do, shed some um, advice. The one thing I love about you guys is that you are all very intelligent and articulate women, even men. And you, you guys always have something really interesting to share. So this is the first time that I'm actually doing a relationship kind of letter like this. So this is something new on the channel. If you guys do want to write me any letters, of course, I will have that email down below where you can share. And um, we'll see exactly how this whole segment goes. I do wish you the best of luck, Jay. And just remember your worth and remember that you are beautiful. And you can pretty much do anything that you put your mind to. And you do not have to tolerate this. So that is my advice. Thank you very much for sharing. And I do wish you the best of luck.